Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Scotty Show. Tonight, I got a very special guest, El Cam God. Man, how you how you doing? How you doing tonight, man? I'm good, man. I'm chilling. I was I had my boy Juju round my house earlier. We were smoking and shit. We had a nice ass time. Hell so yeah, I'm man. been chilling the whole day. It's been nice. Been hella nice. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Um, for the people that don't know who you are, man, who is El Cam God? Uh, I'm one of the realist artists right now in, in Scotland. <laughs> Bro, one of them. There, there, there's a there's a few, but I'm one of them. Hell yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like I, there was, I've never seen no one like with, with the style that you brought, like from like that area. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never yeah, seen yeah. someone adopt like that. Cause I'm from the Midwest. I live two hours from Chicago, and it was yeah, just yeah. crazy seeing someone from Scotland like do that entire like thing over there and bring it and like have like the authenticity with it and shit. So like I fuck with that heavy. Yeah. That, shit, that shit was crazy seeing it. So, oh. Yeah, your reaction was hella cool, bro. Like, I, I fucked with that shit so much. Like, Thanks, your reaction, like, seemed genuine, too. Like, I have hella fucked with it. Thanks, bro. I, I appreciate it. Like, mm. how, how did you even get, like, hip to, you know, like, the whole, like, Chief Keep shit? I, that's, like, my main question for a lot of people that live in, you know, Europe, yeah. Scotland, and things like that. Like, how, how do you, like, like and, and I know it's, like, the internet, but, like, to you, like, how, how was it for you? Shit, bro. Probably, uh, I Don't Like came out. Like, like. Is that the name of the song? Yeah, shit, mm -hmm. I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably that came out, bro, and then, like, Sosa started blowing up after that shit, and then I just, like, tuned in, tapped into all that shit, and then got into a lot of, like, other underground music, shit like that. Yeah. Who was, uh, who else did you listen to in the underground? In the, right now in the underground? Right now, and then, like, just, like, coming up, like, just listening to the underground oh, when you were younger. Uh, yeah, when I was younger, a lot of, like, um, like, uh... Like Young Lane, fuck mm. like old Young Lane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who's uh like Team Session and um, mm. like those guys, uh Raider Clan, Space Ghost oh, Park, shit like that. There and, we and, go, and, there and, and, and not and, and not underground, but like right now, I, I don't really listen to much underground music other than like like my boys like Shed Theory, Joey. Oh, uh, Shed Theory. Yeah, oh, yeah, my my boys in Scotland, Juju, Jello, them guys. I listen to those guys, but uh. I've been listening to a lot of like West Side Atlanta drill. I don't know if you've if you've heard that mm, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I fuck yeah. with no the Atlanta uh, the Atlanta scene is is crazy right now. Mm -hmm. Especially uh, I don't know if you know uh, I don't know if you know him, but uh, CEO Trail because a lot of people think that uh, he's a uh, um, he's like on the underground part of of Atlanta. I don't think he's the uh, on the drill side. Actually, he is a little bit on the drill side because. He be talking about uh, on King Dave and shit like that in Atlanta. And King <laughs> Dave is that's Chicago shit. So yeah, like he yeah. be talking about uh, he, yeah, yeah. He be talking about that King Dave shit. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That he's that's definitely fun. on that drill side. Um, did you? Yeah, I didn't oh, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, no, nah, I didn't really hear him, heard of his music, but I've been fucking with uh, rappers like you probably won't know him, bro. But rappers like Lil Rez, Lil Draco, Lil Ray, YNS mm. Corey. Low Loaded, mm. changed his name to L Loaded, uh, who else? Hop Out Big, Dog Solid, there's like, uh, like, uh, who's another dude coming up right now? Like, uh, Dirt Ball, if you've heard of that guy, like 2S Dirt Ball. Mm. Uh, dude, that's that a lot of names. Block 40 Spaz. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, like, and it just seems like, uh, like, I always feel like, I had like this feeling that, like, you know, there was going to be, like, some, like, resurgence in the underground. Because it's for for a period of time it kind of felt dead, but like now yeah. it has like since we're coming out of like this COVID thing, it feels like uh like that 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 real gritty underground feeling is like coming back, and we got yeah hell yeah yeah and we got people you know actually showing up at, at shows doing doing house shows <clears throat> basement shows and stuff like that and that shit is crazy yeah. especially seeing Shed Theory do it. How did you uh, get yeah. in contact with Shed Theory? Uh. From my boy Juju, if you know him, he's mm. at Jurilla on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Juju, uh, yeah, he fucked a he, like back in the day. He booked like a young lane in 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 Scotland in Glasgow. This was like 2013, bro. No one listened. No one knew who Young Lean was. No one knew who Blade and shit was. He booked mm. those guys back then. He booked Space Ghost Park, bro. That's crazy. Space Ghost, Space Ghost, Space Space Ghost Park was out in Glasgow on uh no visa. 
<laughs> I don't know how the, I don't know how he did that shit, but right, Space Ghost Pub was out here smoking blunts in hotels and shit. So I met, and then um, Juju uh, knew Joey and shit in the shed guys, and I've, I, ever since I linked up with Juju, them, uh, I mean I've I've been tapped in with Shed Fury and shit. Yeah. Um. How was it working with uh like just a member and shit? Like how how many members have you worked with the Shed Theory so far? Yeah, just Ricky so far. Like uh, <laughs> it's a funny story about Ricky is uh. When I dropped that tape, I was like, oh damn, I need to get some more features on this shit. And I was like, he was one of the first people I like texted, I hit him up, I was like, mm. yo bro, you trying to get on a song right now? I can send you some shit. And he, he didn't even reply, bro, he just like instantly like called me on Instagram. And he's like, yo bro, what's up man? And I was like, oh yeah, what's up? And he's like, r around the room, he's like, showed me Joey recording and shit, showed me Marlon. I'm saying like, yo, what's up? You That's know what I mean? Right. Shit like that. And he, and he was like, yeah, send the, send, the, send the verse, bro, I'll record it right now. And like an hour later, he sent that shit back. That's fine. No, it does sound. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And, and it's so crazy, like, how uh, people don't even realize, like, when you're, like, in the underground making music and you really, like, doing it, like, it's mm -hmm. attainable to get to, like, these kind of people, like, people in Shed Theory, like a Ricky or or even, like, a Joey yeah. or a Marley. If you, like, putting the work in and, like, they see you doing it, they're going to fuck with you. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's real. That shit it's, is really possible sometimes. Like, how did it feel when you was just like, damn, you showed me everybody in Shed Theory and then, like, you you linking up with them when they're in, like, you know, in your area and stuff like that? How, how was, like, that feeling? Yeah, it's, it's a cool feeling, bro, because I've been watching them for a minute, man, doing their thing and... They've seen the shit they've done in like, do you know what I mean? Seen the shit Joey's done in like a year mm. is insane, bro. Like the numbers and shit he's doing. But uh, yeah, they played a show in London. I I didn't go. I didn't know Juju at the time. But uh, my boy Juju went, and my boy Bloodkin, who makes music, went with him. And uh, they went to a show in London. Uh, they performed it. And uh, uh, my dude Bloodkin, like he didn't make music at the time or shit. Like he didn't even know these guys. He didn't know who Joey was, who Shed Fury was, and. Mm. He just pulled up and was like, oh yeah, like, I, I, he didn't say his, like, artist name, some shit, like, first name, but basis type shit, like, yo, this is, this is me. And they were like, they seemed like he was a genuine ass guy, they all fucked with him. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, all that shit. So yeah, they, if, if you're a genuine person, bro, like, people fuck with, like, authenticity and, like, real realness. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. How was it, uh, you know, working with Ass a Soldier? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We made we made a song. Uh, I want to say we made that song like nine months ago, bro. It ain't dropped yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's done. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> I get people DM me all the time, like, "Oh, drop that acid soldier song." And I'm like, I can't. I can't. It's like his song. Well, I mean, it's my song. It's it's my beat. It's like, uh, my boy Rapallo, if you know him, uh, mm -hmm. Bootleg Baby. Yeah, Bootleg Baby made the beat for me, and I just gave it to Acid Soldier, and he sent me some shit back. I had the I did my verse. Uh, we made the song and then we he just like sat on it for a hell of a long time. So I, I don't know what's up with that. Bro, I don't I gotta, know when that's going to come out. that shit, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta talk about that. I gotta get that shit dropped. We need to hear that. Yeah, it's, it's fire. <clears throat> hell yeah, it's a good song. Um, what else did you listen to before like rap? Cause you know I I listen to not only rap. I listen to rock. I listen to metal. I listen to all mm -hmm. different types of shit besides like rap as well. So like, is there any other like genres of music that you was fucking with before rap? Nah, just 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 rap mainly. That's uh, bro. crazy. Like, just rap. That's why. Yeah, uh, yeah. When when I was like growing up and shit, it was like, it was like uh, I was on my like two pack shit, like Eminem, Fifty Cent. Like when I was like a young kid, oh, yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Like, like everybody like who grew up in sort of like similar areas and shit to me, and similar like households to me and shit. Like they all had like two pack posters and shit on their walls, and they all fucked with Eminem and shit. Like so, like yeah, we were all listening to that shit. That's like back crazy. when I was like a kid. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, so do y'all like so you're in Scotland and shit, like, mm -hmm. and then there's uh Ireland and shit like that. Do you fuck with Conor McGregor? I was just curious. Y'all fuck with Conor McGregor over over there? Um, but uh, religion, and like I don't know, play, religion plays a huge part in like Scot uh, Scot Scotland and Ireland or England and Ireland and shit because like. Uh, like Ireland's like mainly like Catholic, mm. like religion, and like England are like Protestant. Yeah. So there's like so there's a huge like f there was a huge issue like in Scotland like like over like sectarianism or over whatever the word is like uh uh where like you know what I mean like the ca Catholics don't fuck with Protestants and Protestants don't fuck with Catholics, but it's all over like soccer, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Wow. It's, it's it's like dumb as hell, bro. But like yeah yeah. yeah. Do you fuck but, like, with? I, 
I was gonna say, do you fuck with what any? Uh, do you fuck with any artists in Ireland? Like any uh, uh, any rappers from Ireland? Nah, I don't even. I couldn't name one, bro. Oh fuck. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I only know one. One did uh, block shot, but I don't know. He's like, yeah, I said story for a different day. Yeah. <laughs> like that guy. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it like? He followed... Oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That was. I was gonna say he followed me for a minute, but um, and we had a nice ass talk. I thought he was a cool guy, but um, my boy JJ, uh, he has like. I don't even know if it's beef at this point. Where like, uh, what's what's his name? Cemetery. Oh. Cemetery. Yeah, cemetery. Yeah, because they used to. Have, he has songs and shit with Cemetery, bro. Like, uh, Juju was on like one of Cemetery's mixtapes and shit. Mm. Cemetery produced his biggest song. Uh, Juju and Lil Emo Fall was produced by Cemetery. Mm. Has like a million play. Had like a million plays on on streaming and shit. Cool. Hella old song. Yeah, before he was like Cemetery and. They all fell out, like, over, like, some bullshit, bro, over, like, um, because Juju fucks with Joey and shit, and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Like, the Cemetery don't like Joey or Shed Fury, so... Yeah. Do you think that's, all that like... that shit fell apart. Do you think that's, like, anti, like, progressive t- for the underground, for, like, them to, like, not fuck with each other? Uh, yeah, kind of, in a way, yeah, but, like, they're, they're both doing, like, their own thing, like, mm-hmm. Cemetery's, like, found his own... His own like sound and his own mm-hmm. swag and shit like, uh. And then they're and, like, completely shed. different sounds. Yeah, it's completely different sounds, but yeah, but um. But yeah, yeah I don't know. I think uh, Ricky likes some of their guys' music. I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. I've seen it in his SoundCloud likes. But, like even then, uh, what's his name? Uh, Cemetery did a song with like the Jewish did BLP kosher. Yeah, yeah, so. that, yeah, that's just, yeah that's just And uh, another fun fact, bro, the the bar Cemetery said in that song where he says like, "Why didn't you take my chain?" He was talking about me. Oh. That, that's no bullshit. That is no bullshit, bro. I, he was talking about me and Juju because we said uh, we were gonna go to the London show. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh. Like it's on the genius page, bro. You can pull it up and it says like, "This is a reference to El Cam God." Wanting to snatch Cemetery's chin in London, it's like that's with a cap shit. Yeah, a bunch wild. of cap shit. That's wild as fuck. What <laughs> What was it like, you know, uh, seeing like Blade and and Young Lean perform and like in, in those areas because I know they're from Sweden and shit. And like, yeah. what is it? What was it like, you know, seeing them? You know, just doing well, their thing. Yeah, I never seen them back in the day. I was like a little ass kid back in the day. I must have oh, been like seventeen fuck. or some shit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I wasn't like. I wasn't like top ten with those guys back then. Uh, I'm just going off what like my boy Juju's told, like been telling me about him. Mm. Uh, I I, th- I think he's still fairly close with with some of them. Maybe I don't know. Okay. But uh, there's a lot of like bullshit. But do you know what I mean? It just it comes with the shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there's always gonna yeah. be some like bullshit ass beef and stuff in music. Yeah, that's true, man. Um, so so when you were coming up, you was just li- you was just fucking with like the Tupac, the Fifty Cent and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, who, yeah. When I was on Kedja, who was some of like your top like who would you say like your top like main mainstream rappers like who would you consider top mainstream rappers to you? Of like all time or like right now? Uh, we, I, can, we, we can do all time and we can do right now. You can do your all yeah, time list and then. <clears throat> all time, probably like Fifty Cent. Like I don't know, Fifty Cent made me want to like be rich <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> weird as to say like I, I just love 50 cent swag like it's so cool yeah uh yeah eminem because he's white <laughs> just <laughs> yeah i mean put on for the white boys yeah, uh yeah, two pack yeah. uh low low wayne i fucked with low wayne low wayne's uh, fire always the go like the old the old like young money shit mm-hmm. I fucked with that yeah i love that shit but like, right now uh my top top mainstream artists would be like like uh, NBA, Young Boy, Low Baby. Like I listen to those guys. Mm, that's crazy. So, what did your parents feel like when you was listening to like you know rappers and shit, and like not because oh, bro, how, did, they, did they fuck with it or did they did not fuck with it? Bro, my mom was like, do you know LimeWire from back in the day? Yeah, LimeWire is the go. My, my, <laughs> my mom was on LimeWire downloading me Eminem songs and like uh, printing them on CDs. So I could put on like my PlayStation and shit and listen to it. <laughs> that's, that's lit. That's so lit. like, so my my mom was just like, "Oh, what songs do do you want?" I was like, "Oh, just Eminem or Tupac, Fifty Cent. Just get all those." And she would like go and like burn them onto like discs and I'd listen to that shit. That's crazy. Um, what was it? What is what was it like growing up in Scotland? Uh, I live in like 
uh, I live in technically I live in like Glasgow. I live okay, like okay. I I live like just outside of Glasgow, like twenty minutes. I like a place called Blantyre. Mm. Uh, it's like it's like twenty minutes from Glasgow, bro. It's, it's like it's like South Lanarkshire, but it's like I'm to the east of Glasgow, and uh, I grew up in like one of like the worst like areas in Blantyre. So there was always some like bullshit around. Like I grew up around like uh, violence and like drug addicts and shit and just all the bullshit like that. Dude, what's the drugs but, that? Uh, what are the drugs that are like in that area? Drugs, uh, like heroin, a uh, va- Valium, shit like that. Like Valiums, of it was a pretty big issue. It still is, bro. Like people like buying Valium and shit off the streets, like. That's crazy. And getting themselves fucked up. Yeah, heroin is a big one as well. Uh, co- uh like cocaine, just shit like that. Yeah. Alco- like even alcohol, bro. Like. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Is it is weed? Weed is over there. Y'all got weed over there. Hell yeah, bro. Fucking roll up right now. It's just shit over there. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. So like, <laughs> like, do y'all grow that shit there, or is the like, how does that even like get there? Like, that's my like, that's my question. Like, how does that shit even get like? Cause when did weed even? How when was weed even introduced? Like, Pro- probably a while back, bro. Like. Definitely, like, in the 80s and before, probably before that, bro, but, like, uh, I came, like, the family I came from is, like, all I'm gonna say is, like, I've said it in songs, so it ain't really snitching no more, but, like, yeah. our, like, our old, like, uh, our old, like, council house, like, the, what what do you call it in America, like, the, the, the attic? The, the attic, attic, right? The attic, like, the... The attic. Yeah. The attic, I'm trying Like, to... the, the, the shit, the shit that's above... Your house. Oh, like, like you got the, the pounds in the attic type shit. No, we did the, the grow in the attic, bro. Oh, <laughs> like okay, a qu- okay, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Like, like a, a we we like a quarter mil grow, like quarter million pounds grow in the attic, and yeah, that's crazy. that shit, that that shit paid for like my my Christmases and shit, bro. So like, you know what I mean? Like, shit, yeah. my parents, man, like they 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 took risks, but that's some shit you need to do. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. And uh, and even then, like. Just stuff, just like last week. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I see that you got like the American flag w- right next to the yeah, Sc- yeah. Uh, to the to the Scottish flag. So like, what is that like? Like, what is what does that like mean to you? Like the American flag next to the Scottish flag. The, it's like a friendship flag. It's like it's not two flag. It's not two flags. It's like oh, one flag, one flag joined together. Fire. That's fine. Yeah, and they they're, they're called like friendship flags. So it's like Scotland and American friendship flag, and it's like I don't know. I just thought like all my life like. I, I should be in America. Like I want to go to. I want to go and live in America. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I grew up watching American movies, listening to American music. Like uh, that's the place I want to be, America. Hell yeah! Like so, if you could mm-hmm. move to America, where, where would you want to move to? <sighs> Shit, I don't. That's a good question, bro. Uh, it'd probably be like cliche to say Chicago, but like I, I'm, I'm good anywhere, bro. Like really, like I've got boys in uh, Michigan, mm-hmm. boys from Detroit. I've got Sh- Shedder in Rhode Island, right? Yeah, yeah Rhode yeah, Island. Yeah, Rhode Island. I'm gonna uh, keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The, the the music scene in Chicago right now is kind of like besides like like the drill scene. Drill scene's all right. It's doing good, but like it's kind of getting like it's kind of getting like watered down and played out at to a point. Like I don't yeah. like so like like Chicago yeah, sure. Chicago music scene is at like a standstill and it's kind of like in limbo right now. And yeah, who's even who's even the, the the top drill artist right now? Well, other than like Dirk, but he isn't like a Man, drill rapper no more. I wouldn't even say that there's like a top drill rapper right now. Like, besides, like the 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 dudes from like M Block or some shit, right? Whatever yeah, that like, gang's like, called. Like, yeah. those, like those people, but but then like you can't they can't really break into like you know a bigger market because they're looked at yeah. as dangerous you know what i'm saying yeah like, they're, 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 they're they're just some, crash out art they're just crash out artists yeah. yeah and they don't even you know it's sad to say but they don't even live long enough for a for a music label to even recoup the money that they would put into them to make an album or make music videos and stuff like that which is a set, yeah, sad they, thing to say like and it's just and, it's hella fucked up yeah, and even the ones who make it, bro, like Vaughn, like Vaughn went out over some dumbass shit. Vaughn went, like Crazy. Vaughn got shot by a cop, right? 
Uh, I mean, I don't know if he was. I, I, was I, don't like, know they, if, they, I don't know if Lil Tim was a cop. I don't know if. Uh, well, no, they, yeah, Lil, Lil, Lil Tim was like shooting, but like apparently it was a cop that shot Vaughn, and that's, oh, that's why like Lil Tim beat his charges and shit. But like, oh, yeah, I don't know, like, wild. like, like, like going out, going out for some dumb shit. Like, what did they see? Seen like Quando Rondo in the car or some shit, and like mm-hmm. went to fight him, yeah. and then Lil Tim just like, like up that shit, so, yeah. and he went. Just went out, went out, crashed out over some dumb shit. Which I mean, it's like, yeah, like smart people, smart people last, dumb people crash. Yeah, man, that's all I can say. Yeah, it's just, it's just crazy, like how it all like unfolded and stuff. And it, it, there's a, there's so many rappers that were supposed to be like really. You had like Lil Peep, you had Draco the Ruler. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. Just Wow, bro, from Chicago too. Yeah, no, uh, Draco the Ruler from California. Uh, he was from Los Angeles. He was a part. Yeah, of... I'm saying, I'm saying, oh, I'm saying, oh, like yeah, yeah. Juice, just Juice World, like from Chicago. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, Juice World, Juice World bad. bro, yeah. Juice World, bro. So yeah. many, yeah, yeah so juice, many bro. people that like, like. Would you say like what was your favorite era of underground? Uh, like the sort of like SoundCloud underground music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What year? What year would you say is your favorite? Oh shit, I can't even say the year, bro. But probably like Raider Clan when um, mm. when it was like uh, probably like 2014, 2014 to yeah, like 2017. when it when it when it was like when it was like Rob Banks, mm-hmm. Denzel Curry, Space Ghost Park, twenty thirteen. Yeah, that's like 2012, yeah. 2012, 2013. Yeah, yeah I fucked yeah. with that shit. But like simultaneously listening to that, I was also listening to like Young Fug and like Migos and shit. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I wasn't like strictly underground only. I was listening to like a lot of shit. Yeah. Do y'all have music festivals out in Scotland or Glasgow? Yeah, 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 yeah. But but like not like um, not like sort of like rap shows like that. Mm-hmm. Like they had one uh, in London. I can't remember the name of it. The one in London, but like, uh, who was there? Yeet was there. Ken Carson and shit was there. Was mm. Carty there? Carty might have been there. I don't know. There was I, somebody will know the name of the festival that was down in London like a month or two ago. I can't remember the name, but yeah, they have that shit like down in London, but not really here. Yeah. So people, people, people aren't as tapped in. Yeah. Is uh so like is there like any like support for local artists in like your area like that or how how is it? Nah, we don't get booked for any shows, bro, because people perceive us in the wrong way. They think we're like. <laughs> they think we're like unpredictable, violent people when it's the complete opposite. So we, mm. so we like we right now technically we're blackballed from like any show in Glasgow and shit. That's crazy. So, so like they they just don't fuck with y'all. Like it's just like, but they'll but then they'll like and 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 I don't want to say like I don't want to you know uh, offend my Amer- the American artists, but they'll bring American artists over here. That are probably just as dangerous and probably did way more dangerous yeah, yeah. shit than y'all. Did. But, but they're but they'd yeah. be like y'all y'all can't perform, which is kind of crazy. Like which I yes, yeah, so you it's would like, you would think that they would want their artists or their rappers to blow up and you know come to America, make money, and bring the money back to you know Scotland type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, and yeah, like. Oh, like I've, I've only played like I've only played like two shows, bro. I played one in Glasgow. Um, they booked me in Glasgow. Uh, and then we got booked in London to to play a show in London. Uh, and then the same dude who booked who booked us in London played a Glasgow show and didn't invite us to the Glasgow show, even though they were in our like city. Mm-hmm. And they booked like other people, so like people are just on some weird shit. People just like I don't know. People here just spread rumors and shit and like. Or snakes, bro. Like a lot of the people in the Glasgow music scene are just—they're all snakes. Like they use, like they were fucking with me at the beginning, but um, because I fuck with like Juju and shit, they all hate Juju for some reason. I, I don't know why. He's like the nicest guy ever. He's, he's changed my life, bro. So, but like because I fuck with Ju- uh, Juju, like, oh, I'm like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm blackballed now because because of who I associate with. It's, it's all mm. the bullshit. So do you think it's you think it's more of like a competition thing? You think it's like if they stop you from doing shows, they can do more shows? Yeah, they think that, but they're losing the competition, bro. Cause their music sucks. <laughs> like, to be res- being respectful, their music sucks. Like, we we make the best music in 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 Glasgow right now. And also, like no one else is making music like us. Mm. And I will like, also we, we say treat, that's like a job. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would also say that like it's kind of like a disservice to like the people there because you want the shows yeah. to be bigger you want the shows to be more packed out 
and like if yeah. y'all are there and then you got the other people there it just makes the shows bigger it makes the interactions even more crazier and then y'all actually have a storyline for y'all underground scene so like I would assume yeah. that like y'all would do like the same thing as like a Raider clan like where everyone is like doing shows together the live shows is going crazy the fans is the people the local scene is fucking with y'all and then y'all build and build and build and then y'all go to the American scene do what Young Lean yeah. and Blade did and shit and you know like it, th- yeah. do you think it's harder to blow up right now or in your area right now do you think it's like yeah harder yeah. To yeah, for sure, because we're blackballed, because, like, no one's booking us for so- uh, shows and shit, like, um, mm-hmm. and it's it over some bullshit, bro, it's just over, because people don't like JJ, uh, so people don't like me, mm-hmm. and I've made it very clear that I'm, like, me and JJ are, like, like that's my boy, like, do you know what mm-hmm. I mean, like, JJ's taught me so much, introduced me to so much, like, cool people, done so much for me music-wise, like, and shit like that, so, like, I'm always gonna love JJ forever, and it's, it's just over some, like, some like bullshit bro, like one did like, I'm not even going to say his name on the shit, but like yeah. So uh, G- Juju sold someone a pair of jeans and like I'm not going to go into his personal life and shit, but he was going through it at the time he Didn't have a phone, didn't have access to internet He came back online and seen the dude refunded the pay- the PayPal payment for his jeans and was like Tweeting bullshit about him and tweeting lies and shit about him and then it's like so that's why he doesn't fuck with any of those guys and they don't fuck with him. But like yeah. they tried fucking with me at the beginning and then they just realised that like like I'm I mean I'm I'm lo- I'm 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 all about loyalty, bro. Like so I stay loyal to my guys and it's like they, they they've realised that and they're just like they mm. they don't book us no no more. Yeah. Yeah. Um so what else do you have like, you know, what else are you working on, you know, for music wise? Um I'm working on a project right now called uh, Neds. Neds is like a, it's like a Scottish saying like if someone's a Ned it's like it means like non-educated delinquent it just means like a <laughs> like a, how do I compare it? it just means it just means like you're like like it just means like you're you're a hood guy do you know what I mean like yeah, yeah, over yeah, here yeah. over over here we don't call it the hood it's like uh, because it's like council house and schemes we call it the scheme mm-hmm. so like we're ske- we're we're like scheme boys yeah, and yeah. Do you know what I mean like. And we grew up around bullshit, like, do you know what I mean, like, violence, drugs, crime, do you know what I mean, we grew up around that shit, so, like, we, we, like, we, we grew up fast, bro, like, and, um, and everyone else, like, in, in Glasgow and shit doing the music thing, like, they can't relate to us at all, because they've lived completely, like, different lives, mm. like, they grew up, like, both their parents had full-time jobs, and, do you know what I mean, my parents had to sell drugs, yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean, yeah. like, like, they, they can't relate to that shit. Yeah. That's crazy, because, like, living in America, like, because, you know, we all, like, even though um, I wasn't around that shit 24-7, it was literally, like, right down the street, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can, yeah, yeah. like, and, and then, like, I don't know that that's, like, happening in, you know, in y'all area and stuff like that. I be thinking that y'all be living, like, normal-ass lives and shit, but little do I know yeah. that y'all kind of going through, like, I the wish, similar... Bro. Y- y'all kind of going through, like, the similar shit that yeah. we go through a little bit, yeah. and... And like that's just wild. Like, is there a big homeless population in your area? Is there is there homelessness? Yeah, 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 yeah. Low key. Yeah, yeah. When you're in Glasgow, like in the town and shit, there's loads of homeless folk and shit. That's it's, it's, it's like sad to see and shit, but like yeah, that's crazy. I mean. I never but it's all because thought. of drugs. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. wild. So like, what is like some fun shit to like do in uh, in Glasgow or Scotland? Uh, go to Edinburgh. It's a way nicer area, <laughs> and everyone else is everyone there's nice. Yeah. In the street and shit is clean. Yeah, you don't go to Glasgow. Go to Edinburgh if you want to visit Scotland. Hell yeah. <laughs> that, that's all I'll say. There ain't shit to do in Glasgow. <laughs> go and go go and um, go to clubs and shit. That's that's about it. Like, what's the club I, I, scene like? Is it just just lit? It's just lit as fuck. You just get fucked up. People doing drugs and shit in the clubs. Yeah, people do. Yeah, people do like little raves and shit like that. I don't know about the rave scene now, but like. It was like popping a few years ago. I don't know much anymore. Like illegal, like I'm talking about like illegal raves. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like with that that was like popular. I don't know about it anymore. Like probably pre-COVID, it was really popular. But after COVID and shit, yeah. I'm not sure. I, I didn't. I, I didn't, I was never really into that scene or nothing, so I didn't pay attention. Do the uh, is the pol- do the are the police like the police in uh, in America? Like, do they be like pressing like y'all areas? Like, do they be pressing like people in the bad areas? Like, are they, like, assholes to the people in the bad areas? Or, like, how, what is that shit like? Yeah, yeah well, 
<laughs> yeah. Um, but they don't got guns, depends, do they? Like, they ain't got the, the police don't got guns. Nah, like. some so, some of them have guns. Like oh, it depends see, where it, it depends where they have yeah. armed cops, but it's not like every cop is armed. Like we still have cops like uh, riding horses and shit, bro. <laughs> it's like it's dumb as hell. Uh, but you know they don't really press you too much, bro. Like you can go out and like walk around and smoke weeds and. They don't really bother you and shit, but we, like, is we legal there or is it illegal? Nah, it's illegal. It's illegal. That's crazy. I'm still, bro, cause like I be like whenever I think of like Scotland, bro, like I be thinking of like you know, just like some some lit shit, cause like and cause I think of yeah. like I, I think of Ireland too in the same like sense because I'm I, I think of like when I think of like Ireland, like I look at like Conor McGregor, I be seeing him get fucked up, he be lit as fuck and shit. So I'm just thinking that everybody just lit as hell in in Scotland and yeah. in Ireland and shit. So like, I, yeah, it's kind of crazy that that movie's illegal. Yeah, it's similar. Like Scotland and Ireland are very similar, like okay, in a way. Yeah. Like, like really, just anywhere, like any poor sort of area in the UK is like would be similar to like mm. my upbringing. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. The dialects are different this... though, right? Y'all like native languages mm -hmm. like are different. What is y'all native language called? Uh, well, like up north and shit in the Highlands, they mm -hmm. speak like. Gaelic or some shit. Gaelic, I, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I speak English, bro. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I speak okay. I speak English. That shit's hard though. Like, do you like? Do you ever like uh like think about like the like the mythology there? Because I know y'all like you know Protestant, Christian, and all that, and Catholics and shit like that. But like, do y'all ever do you ever think about like this shit before that? Nah, nah. I not really. Never really thought about that. Uh, I'm actually like I'm like not Protestant or Catholic. I'm like. Orthodox Christian, yeah. If you know about that shit, mm -hmm, I'm like mm -hmm. uh, I'm like catechumen right now because I'm I've only been going to church for like a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. But and then I need to I need to go to church more, learn more. Like you know what I mean, like involve myself more in the church. And then I think if I go to the church for like a year, I can get baptized Orthodox. Because mm. uh, my boy Juju just got baptized like a few weeks ago. We mm -hmm. were at his baptism, and then just just even being in like a. a, a like the church we go to is R Romanian Orthodox, and it's like we're the only like, like Scottish dudes in there. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone else is like Romanian, so it's like it's like I don't know being in there is like it's kind of awkward in a way, but it's cool because they all treat you hella nice and shit. Like everyone's so cool in in church. Like it's hella cool. Hell yeah! So you so you pretty much you fuck with church, and plus I like y'all church yeah. architecture out there. I like the castles and shit. The castles and shit go crazy, bro. Like that's like one thing that I wish we had out here that that we like that y'all got that we don't have. Yeah. Like, just seeing a fucking... I'd be looking at pictures of that shit. I'm like, damn, I got fucking castles out there, bro. Like, yeah. you ever get high as fuck and just look at a fucking castle and be like, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all, all, the, all, all the castles and shit are on, like, Edinburgh. Like, for real, like, where I grew up, like, maybe why I relate so much to, like, Chicago music and why it, like, uh, resonates with me so much is because, like, I would watch, like, old, like, Rondo number no. 9 videos and I'd be like, <laughs> hold up, that, that looks like a place, like... Five minutes for me. What the hell? Yeah, so y'all got like, like y'all got hoods and like traps and shit. Yeah, yeah I, I got the same shit. I, yeah, I'm like in the hood right now, like mm -hmm. in the trenches, bro. Like yeah. yeah. So like, how much would like uh, like so like in the, in a the hood or whatever in in your area, how much will rent be? Uh, t take a guess, bro. You won't get it, but take a guess. Bro, I'm 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 gonna say like <laughs> I'm gonna say like three hundred dollars. Yeah. Three three hundred pounds is what I've, is is the rent for this like, uh, it's like it's like a apartment well like a flat they call it here flats mm -hmm. it's like, but it's like I think these flats are called like four in a block so it's like one house but like there's an upstairs house like upstairs like there's one upstairs like neighbors upstairs I'm downstairs and then behind me there's neighbors and then upstairs around them there's neighbors so it's like four like houses in one house if that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we call, like, so y'all, y'all, y'all call them. Y'all, so y'all don't call them apartments and shit because we call our shit. Yeah, we could. Okay, y'all call them. Yeah, apartments? we. I, okay, okay. Yeah, we call them like flats, but I just call them like council houses, like yeah. because it's like because it's like provided to you by like the council. Mm. That's why the rent and shit is so cheap, like okay. three three hundred pounds a month, like. Hell yeah, and they're, they're built good, bro. Like, like for real, bro. Like most like new built houses are like built shit, like because because we got evicted and shit. Uh, because we had like a growing shit mm. that we were growing like we we just like an attic and shit like we got evicted and we had to private rent and did the private rent was like 
insane what my parents were paying and the house was like shit it was built like shit but like these like council houses are like solid bro like mm. like they don't from the outside they don't look nice but like they're like really well built and shit and you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's like, that's crazy, yeah, bro. Like, damn, I low key, bro. I might have to. I wanna. I definitely would love to like book like a flight and like do like a uh, like a vlog, like a day in the life with you, bro. Hell that would be yeah, crazy. bro. That would be crazy. I, I, that's making me like want to like make that little trip out there, low key, bro. That shit. That's yeah, just, hell yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's just like I would love to like see like that shit because you know, uh, like Americans, especially uh, Black African Americans, we don't. We don't know, yeah. like, we don't know a lot about, like, that shit over there, you know what I'm saying? We think that it's all fine yeah. and dandy. We think that it's normal, like, like normal over there, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't get to, like, yeah, see, yeah. we don't get to, like, see, like, that kind of shit. And that, that's just crazy, bro. Uh, that you even, mm -hmm. like, that, that, that we're, like, talking about this right now. That's, that's that's insane, man. Like, you really come from the trenches out there, bro. That's that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Literally, bro. like, the <laughs> the worst, the worst like, housing scheme in my area. Uh, is, is, I live in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I can walk... Okay, I could walk around, bro, on FaceTime and show you, like, oh, yeah, someone got stabbed there. Someone okay. got stabbed there. Someone gets shot there. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, that's the type of shit. But how do you feel about, how do you feel about, because, like, in America, everybody, bro, there's more guns than there are people here. How do y'all feel yeah. about not having guns? Uh, or not having access? I or not having access I wish to I I wish I had access to a gun, bro, make life easier, but, like, um, mm -hmm. we had, we, we could own a gun, but, like, some did shot up a school in, like, the 90s, uh, I think, it's, it's bang out, I don't remember the name, I think it was, like, it was some, like, school that got shot up, some dude just went and shot the school up, and then they banned, like, like that, like, banned owning guns, so, That's like, that, yeah, fuck, fuck that dude, he fucked that shot up, so, like, yeah, we use, like, I've, like, we use like knives and shit, bro. <laughs> like, which is even, <laughs> which is damn near even worse because, like, you know how many times you gotta stab somebody until they die, bro. Like, yeah, that shit's even yeah. God, crazier. God for God forbid I get in that situation, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, that is crazy, bro. Cause like I rather I rather get shot than get stabbed, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I'd yeah. I'd rather I'd, I'd, I'd rather get like lit up with a switch, bro, than yeah. get like stabbed, yeah, like hell yeah, no. Or like get get. Yeah, like yeah. get slashed or some shit and yeah, hit an yeah. artery and you're, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, man. Cause, uh, and then, like, are they, like, is, is there a ban on knives, too? Like, is there, like, a knife? Yeah, like, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, you can't, can't carry it. But, like, that doesn't make, like, in my brain, because, like, in America, bro, like, you know, because um, we have, like, you know, the Constitution and shit, and, you know, we have the right to, like, bear arms. Yeah. Like, it doesn't, yeah. like, and it's not, like, specific. That will never be taken away. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. so, like, it's not specific, so, like, we could bear anything, you know what I'm saying? I can use this cup as a weapon. I can use, like, it, like you know, anything I want. So, like, hearing that, it's like, bro, how did they even, like, did y'all just, like, give them, like, give everything up? Like, I was just like, all right, fuck it. We're just going to give you all guns. Like, like, yeah, f there might be, like, a like a gun buyback program or some oh, shit. Like, the same shit they did okay, this year. Okay. It, 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 it might have been some shit. I'm not too sure. It might have been some shit like that. But, yeah, like, but yeah, like knives and shit. Like, if you cut off a knife, it's like you get four years in jail. Like, I, I, I ain't been caught yet. Like, yeah, what is Scottish, what is, what is, like, jail in uh, Glasgow or Scotland like? Like, I know you've never been. Like, have you ever been or... To where, sorry? Have you ever been to jail? Where, where you, to you jail? No, no, God, no, God forbid <laughs> I go to jail. But uh, the jail I'd probably go to, bro, is like is one of the worst jails. It's like it's called Berlin. -y. Yeah. Actually, I've I've have a mixtape called Bound for Berlin, -y, like <laughs> Bound for Prison, like <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the, the big house, Bar L, yeah. It's it's. I mean, the jails here are like I don't really know, bro, but like um, they're like I don't think. I mean, you probably still need to, like, stand on ground and shit, and, like, if someone presses you or some shit, you know, like, yeah. you need to stand on, you stand, do you know what I mean? Like, stand on business. Sta stand your ground. Yeah, yeah stand yeah. on business, yeah, yeah, like, fight someone or some shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's probably similar, like, in a way in America, but, like, I don't know that, like, I know, like, some, like, prisons in America are, like, really bad, and some are, like, or, or like, a vacation or some shit. Yeah. It's oh. probably the same here, like, like, if I went to prison, it'd probably be, like, a vacation. Oh shit, <laughs> bro! Nah, jail and bro, jail and we're uh, so I live in Illinois. That's the last yeah. place you want to go to jail. Oh. You not want to yeah. go to jail in shit. Illinois. You don't yeah, go shit. What you? You don't want to go to jail. Got... Illinois. It's the worst prison system, it's, bro. It's the worst prison system ever, bro. Like, yeah, just, just, watch hella... a, just watch a. Uh, you can either watch like a Cook County documentary, or you can yeah. watch a uh, just 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 type in j jails in Illinois. It's gonna look like. You would think that 
Yeah. Like, motherfucking, I don't even want to say it because, like, I'll probably get my shit, uh, <laughs> the video taken down. I might even go say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, would yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. some, you think it's like some other shit, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, uh, which mm-hmm. the shit goes down in there, bro. Like, have you, uh, yeah. I don't, do you know, um, bro, have you ever heard of a, uh, of a Glock Dookie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen <laughs> that in yeah. That shit is crazy, yeah. bro. That shit is crazy. No, that's another, that's I another reason why you them. don't want to go to jail in, in America. Yeah. Bro, American jails is crazy because they, like, so American jails, bro, it's all divided by race, bro. So if you white, bro, yeah. you got to go with, you got to go with, the, that, you, can't, you can't be hanging around black people and you can't be hanging around, like, Mexicans and stuff like that in, in the jail. Is that the case? Is that the case in Chicago, though? Because I know there's hella white GDs and shit. Um, is that the case in Chicago? I, I I know in like the east they, coast it's like the politics is super race so like racial i've never been in jail but i do know people God, bro. i do know people that's been in jail and shit like that and um from what like i have heard like they still have to if you white and you go to jail you still and you want to run with uh, the blacks you yeah. gonna have to get ju- you gonna get beat you gonna get tried by the, by the white people you gonna get tried by the you know your your race <clears throat> or whatever they gonna yeah, they, they gonna like, wanna they gonna wanna stab you they gonna wanna beat your ass they gonna want they probably gonna kill you so if you white and you yeah. and you trying to run with black people they gonna ki- they gonna try and kill you yo your own yeah, people gonna, like, they, what, they gonna try and kill you bro yeah but like what are you gonna do bro if you're like some <laughs> white dude from like a GD hood. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna like you're gonna put it if you put if you put in work and stuff right. like that, and the, the, they're gonna the blacks are gonna protect you, obviously, but they're gonna try and kill yeah, you regardless. I, re- I remember Low Flash did an interview recently, he was a <coughs> cook counting mm-hmm. and uh he said he was like because uh, Low Flash is like BD, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's yeah, Low Flash is BD, I'm pretty sure he's BD, and he said he was like he was like good in there, but he's mm-hmm. like mixed. I don't, I don't, I don't he's really Mexican, know what race so he is. yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes me- I don't think he's Mexican, but he's like he's some like weird race. He's like mixed, some sort of mix. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like Armen- Armenian or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. He's, 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 he's something. Like, he's he's Mex- not like white though. I've actually seen mm-hmm. Lil Flash in person before at a, like a weed event in Chicago. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. Yeah, like. Li- li- Low Flash is he funny as hell, man. He looked Mexican to me. Yeah, I, I don't think he's like, I don't think he's Mexican. I, I think he said in an interview he wasn't Mexican and he's yeah. like mixed. But yeah, Low, Low Flash is funny, bro. I've got a song with him too. Oh, Low that's Flash crazy. Low Flash, bro, that's fire. What was it like yeah. doing a song with Low Flash? Uh, bro, I like, I woke up and I seen like Low Flash had followed me and DM me saying like, yo, what's up, bro? Let's work. Do you know what I mean? Like, messaging me and shit. I was like, mm. whoa, what the fuck? This is like, like, Talk about like inspiration wise, like yeah, Low Flash is like Chica- like Chicago wise, like inspiration it would be like obviously Sosa, then like Capo, then like Low Flash. Like I I've listened to so much Low Flash bro, bro so just seeing like the seeing like Low Flash follow me and DM me hit me up was so yeah. insane, bro. Now that I'm thinking uh-huh. about it, bro, like if you probably went to Chicago and then you started making music in Chicago and then you made like some like this is what Juice World did. Like Juice World, he was in Chicago, made music in Chicago. Went to yeah. LA, and then like you know got the record deal in LA and shit like that. If you if you honestly came to Chicago, bro, you honestly might go up, low key. I might have to go cap. Like even though the music scene is not where I think it should be, I think that you would have a good chance of like you know, like making shit yeah. happen. So like if I was you, bro, I would definitely uh, try to like you know try to catch a flight to Chicago or wherever you, you know your homies are yeah, out sure. here. Yeah, bro. Just, yeah, you gotta, definitely so. gotta come out to America uh, soon, man. You definitely gotta make that. Cause uh. On, I need to. I'm not trying to spell too much, but um, mm-hmm. my boy Juju may or may not know uh, folk from No Limit. So mm-hmm. if we go to Chicago, if we go to Chicago, we're good, bro. And he he's cool with like TYMB dudes mm-hmm. from there, like Mon- Mon- Money Money Man, Fefe. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's yeah. cool with all them dudes. So like, if we go to Chicago, we're good, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Y'all definitely. Yeah. Um, it'll be yeah. Y'all definitely got to go out there and like make like some content, do music and shit like that, and, and yeah. just have that shit go up, bro. Honestly. In, yeah, uh, I'd love I'd love to go to Chicago and visit the like Vaughn, uh, mm-hmm. the, the mural, mural or whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 E- even though I love young, even though I love young boy, bro, like still Vaughn's like a legend, bro. Like bro, when yeah. see when Vaughn died, when Vaughn died, bro, they had him on the news in the UK. Mm. When Vaughn died, that's crazy, bro. Cause yeah. like Vaughn was never like a rapper. He was like, he was just meant to be like a, a hitter. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, like, yeah. He started rapping and when he died, he, he was like on the news and shit in the UK. Mm. It's like whoa. It's like crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I did not Wild. know that's fire, bro. Have you ever uh, seen the documentary um, uh, "When the Light Takes Us"? Or do you know of the band nah, called? Nah. It's a Swedish band. Um, fuck. 
Who was they called, bro? I forgot the name of that fucking band, bro. But uh, it was a it was a death metal band. Are you familiar with death metal or anything like that? Anything of that nature? Death metal? Yeah, is it, is it like black metal and shit. Black I mean? metal, yeah, black metal, yeah. Are you talking about like? Barzum or some shit? You're talking about Mayhem? Mayhem, like yeah, Mayhem, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, li I've listened to a little bit of black metal, but it's like, it's too, um... It's, 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 I, I get, all over I get, the place. I get, it's all over the Yeah, I get, there's, there's some, like, there's some black metal songs I can show you, bro, that I fuck with that I can listen to, but, yeah, mm. some of it's, like, some of it's, like, not my, not, not my shit. I'd rather listen to trap music. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I can't, I can't relate to, to dudes, like, uh, talking about, like, Satan Weird shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't relate. To, I can't relate to that shit, but I can relate. I, but I can relate to like um, I can relate to like Dr drum fucking. And so, shit and... I, yeah, I can, I can relate to someone in Chicago talking about like no lacking shit. Do you, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Oh, mm -hmm. like and and the reason why I brought that up is because like when when I thought when I when I watched like that documentary about mayhem and shit and the people mm -hmm. was, and them motherfuckers was in Sweden or whatever, bro. It, yeah, it, Norway, I think. Yeah, yeah, Norway, think yeah, yeah, Norwegian. Norway, yeah. yeah. Like, it was crazy because they believed in their image, like how people in Chicago believed in their image, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. They was, like, straight up, like, yo, we drilling, we killing motherfuckers, bro, we, this is what we doing, this is yeah. what we about, and then you yeah, have well, dude, the Mayhem Dude people. from Bursdom burned, like, a church down, right, and killed yeah. the dude from Mayhem? Yeah, yeah bro, they were so was... dedicated, they were so dedicated to the image that they were willing to do, like, yeah. shit like that. That shit is crazy, bro. Like, yeah, that's like that's like <clears throat> half the shit now, though. It's like, <clears throat> like, if you have a good, like, your music can like suck low key, but if your image is cool, like, like, image plays a huge role, bro. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, so like, people probably see me, like, yeah, just some like white dude from Scotland, long hair, like, designer clothes and shit, doing all this shit, like, in the trenches. Like, they probably see that and think, like, whoa, that's like cool. Like, even your reaction, bro, when you see that, you're like. Whoa, I didn't know these guys were like top 10 like that. Yeah, like, listening yeah. to this kind of music. Yeah, yeah bro, that's crazy. That's like one of the things, bro. I was just like, bro, this is so crazy how someone from like thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away yeah. could just be so tapped into it. Like, in literally a place that I live two hours away from, and you know, I've been there, like in those areas and shit like that. Yeah. And it's just crazy. I'm just like, damn, bro, like he really, like, you know, is tapped in and he fuck with like the culture over there. Uh, how yeah. much is designer clothes uh, in in uh, in your area? Shit, shit. Uh, the clothes I've been buying recently. There's a in Glasgow. There's a nice. I'm not gonna say the name of the store in Glasgow because people are gonna go and buy you everything. Buy but there's a nice. <laughs> yeah, there's a there, there's a nice little vintage store in Glasgow, bro. Um, that sell like old like vintage clothing. Like the the clothing I like is like I like like a uh, Montclair, Stone Island. So you can get a Montclair for the low. You can get a Montclair. Yeah, for bro. This the, 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 the hoodie cost me like a uh, like fifty dollars, bro. And it, it's it's real. It's like oh real deal. my god, yeah. that's I need to go to Glasgow, bro. Yeah, I, I, I cop this. I, I cop this polo the other day for like twenty. This is like some vintage Fred Perry shit. Like that. That's the clothing I'm into. Is like over here. It's like um, you'd have like 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 football casuals like people that would watch soccer mm -hmm. and would go to all the like the games and shit they, like, the way they dressed is cool bro it'd be like like adidas sambas uh and like stone island shit like that so i love that shit bro and like growing up i was like damn i wish i could afford that shit so that's why i love all those, that kind of shit because yeah. it's like the, the the clothes i wear right now is the clothes i was like i wish i could have wore like mm -hmm. when i was a, 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 like a little kid like mm -hmm. like i can't even remember I can't even remember when I got my first like Nike tracksuit, bro. Like, That's crazy. I remember the, 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 the remember the, the Christmas I got that, the color of it. I got my first pair of uh, Air Max nineties, bro, black and gray. I can remember all that shit, bro. And I was like, so like, I was like. Yes, I finally have this shit. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like uh, that hoodie, bro. That 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 jacket will probably be like damn near twelve hundred dollars in America. <laughs> that's yeah, that, that's that, that's maybe some that's maybe some old season shit. I don't know, but like it's, it's, it's still old. Now, but, so. it, it's old, but like like yeah. someone in America will find a way to sell it for like twelve hundred dollars, bro. There's no way that would sell for fifty. There's no way yeah. it would sell for fifty in in uh in America. No fucking yeah. That's crazy. Well, even. Even like the designer like stores and shit like the outlets like um you have you guys have like Neiman's and shit right and yeah, like we got um Neiman's, yeah yeah we we got so stores like that we got like Harvey Nicks we got Cruise Fashion like 
I was in there, I was, I was I mean, like, I like going into those stores and, like, I, I was, I've been into a few of those stores, like, the past week, actually, like, because I want to buy, like, the, see the Montclair Maya, the big Montclair puffer jacket. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they cost a rack, bro, they're, like, 1,200. But, mm -hmm. like, but, like, I want to go, I, like, I was trying to go into the stores and shit and being, like, oh, can I try this size to see if it fits? Like, so if I see some shit online or some shit or someone selling one cheaper, like, I know it's, like, I know the size and shit, but, like, <laughs> but, like, every time I, every time I've went in, it's been, like, oh, no, they don't have the size, I need to check. It's, like, I put it on, it's been too big, I'm, like, oh, do you have a smaller one? They're, like, nah. I'm, like, oh, shit. They're, like, oh, come back tomorrow, we might have more in. It's, like, okay. Yeah. Shit, like, <laughs> shit like that. That's but, yeah, cool. like, even, um, but not all, all my clothes I get super cheap, bro. Like, I've got a pair of, like, Rick Owens. I got from I bought off my boy from like for like fifty to fifty fifty pounds. That's fire. Favorite Rick Owens. Mm -hmm. That's fire. Um, so what do you see for yourself in the future of music? Um, hopefully in America, bro. Just and and in America, surrounded by like-minded people who are cool, who have the same goals and who the same um passion and drive for music that I do. Hanging around with guys like that, so like going to like Rhode Island and Lincoln Joey, Shed Fury, Lincoln those guys like recording, going over there. Um, so I'd be good anywhere, bro, in America, really. Like I, I'd be good in Detroit. I know boys in Detroit, Chicago. I said Rhode Island with Joey, Shed Fury. Um, uh, even in like Cali and shit, like Oregon, like I think Youngster Jack, David Shotty. Like, mm, oh, David Shotty, yep, David Shotty. Yeah, 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 yeah they yeah. fuck, yeah. They, yeah, they guys fuck with me. Uh, Xavier so bass too. He's from New Ooh, York. Yeah, Xavier so bass. Yeah, yeah, he yeah he fucks with me. So I'm I'm I I could go anywhere and just like hit somewhere and be like, yo, I'm in your city, bro. Like, let's 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 do some. Like, I've yeah. got a lot of people I could up. Maybe not, maybe not Xavier so bass. I don't know. I've not really tapped in with him fully, but he follows me and shit, and he like shares my music. So mm. that's what's mm -hmm. up, man. I fuck with that. Um, how uh, who shoots your music videos? Uh, my boy Jella, who, who's also a rapper, he just, my boy Jella, he raps and he does videos. The first time I met him, yeah, he was like a fan, bro, he was a fan of me. Um, and he was a fan of Ju uh, my boy Juju too. Bro, I, bro after this, uh, I'm gonna link you uh, a mixtape by Juju, it's called Lazy Moolah, it's all Chicago remixes. His favourite Chicago song, <laughs> yeah, cause he, he, he's like way more tapped into Chicago than like I am, bro, like... He That's can great. tell you, sh like, he can tell you knowledge that, like, like, do you know what I mean? He can tell you shit about Chicago that people that live in Chicago don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, wild. but, like, but, yeah, like, my boy Jello was, like, a huge fan of him for, like, years. And then, um, oh, Juju, Ju 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 I knew Juju for a while, like, we used to follow each other a few years ago, but I wasn't really making music at the time and shit, and, uh, yeah, I was just, I was just, like, a, a, a dumbass little kid at the time, but, uh, Juju hit me up. Uh, like last year sometime he just started follow he followed me liked all my songs and shit i was like oh yo thanks for the follow bro appreciate it he's like yeah bro your music's fire like and then um uh, my, my my boy jella who does rapping in the videos and shit uh mm. he hit me he hit me up in some fan shit too he was just like just like bro your music is fucking insane like i love hearing people from scotland who make this music this is fire i was like oh yeah appreciate that bro and then like I, I i followed them back and shit and we were texting and then it just came to one day like i'd i'd, I'd just I'd be on, I'd be texting him, I'd be like, yo, look at this song I just made, and I'd show my song, like, my song, uh, Stab Proof. I showed him that shit, um, and I was, he was like, yo, this is the best song I've ever heard. I was like, oh yeah, I appreciate that, bro. I was like, I really, I was like, I really need a music video for this shit. And he was like, he was like, yeah, bro, I could do that shit, like, if you're down. I mean, I don't have a camera, but I've got an iPhone. I was like, that works, bro. An iPhone works. The quality of the iPhone cameras mm -hmm. are nice as hell. Yeah, yeah. So he ca he he lives in Edinburgh. He came through from Edinburgh to Glasgow, then to Blantyre, just to shoot a music video for me. And then we like linked up. Um. So yeah, like me and him, like we got really close. And then um, we have a we have a shout out our boy too, Tartan from from he's in Livingston, which is like in between sort of Glasgow and Edinburgh. He's a studio over there, we go and hit his studio, um, yeah, just one day me and Juju were gonna hit his studio and my boy Jella was with me, and, um, he met Juju for the first time, like, like, uh, at, 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 like, did studio, and, like, I could tell he was, like, fanned out, bro, being, like, around, like, people he's like, been listening to and shit, and, like, yeah, yeah. cause, 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 cause meeting him at first, he was kinda, not, like, shy, but, like, not really, like, 
You know what I mean? Like we had to warm him up a bit, and then mm-hmm. like now he's like he now, now he's just like yeah, one of the members. Normal. Like, yeah, it's like normal. Yeah, now yeah. yeah, now I could just like hit him up and be like, "Yo, let's do this. Like, do want to do something today?" And it's like, yeah, like even like yesterday, bro. Last night we were we were in the <coughs> last night we were in the studio till like one a.m. Last night, and we 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 remixed a little flash song. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> uh, like, and then with like the music videos, have you ever like thought about uh, in which um, and I probably gotta watch more music videos of yours. Um, yeah, you probably already they, have they, done, you, you probably already have done it. So, would you like? Do you like fuck with like you know being out in like uh like nature and shit and shooting your music videos? Have you done anything like that? Uh, nah, I'm more into the sort of like. It's like the trap uh, like look, the like, trap look. Yeah, yeah, or or we or, or we we do it like summer style and like book an Airbnb, a nice mm-hmm. ass Airbnb, and go and shoot it in there, or we shoot it in the studio or some okay, shit, okay. shit like that. Uh. Or like yeah, just just like out in the street, like street videos. Like mm, that's, fuck that's with fire that shit. too. That's fire too. Yeah, yeah. cause like is it like, I, cause I like I've like seen just videos of like you know Scotland and you know like that kind of like area, and like I've seen like a lot of like dope like nature waterfall looking areas and shit yeah. like that. And like yeah, like, it's just, all nice places. Yeah, like like have you ever thought about like shooting a music video <laughs> in like an area like that and just had that shit look epic as fuck? And like, just do like some. You just like smoking dope, like <laughs> like by the ocean type shit. And like, you just like going, like just just spitting bars and shit. Like, have you ever yeah, some shit Ho- like that. Yeah, yeah, we've been planning, or not like planning, but like we've been talking about it because our boy, uh, my boy Bloodkin, who makes music. Like, we have our group. Our group is me, Juju, Jella, my boy Tartan, and my boy Bloodkin. That's like that's that's like our group. That's the only people I fuck with from like here. Like. Mm. They, that's that they were like the coolest people from like here like they, they want to be like us we make the best music like like do you know I mean like mm-hmm. but, but, but before they were haters they were fans pretty much <laughs> that type of shit yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah but like yeah bloodkin makes sort of like i don't yeah, I, need, I need to show you his music bro um, yeah yeah tap me in, <clears throat> tap me in, bro yeah uh he makes sort of like he would like sample like medieval shit like dungeon synth sort of beats and shit yeah, like that yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. so like so like he's the kind of guy who'd want to go out in those places and like do those videos mm. so yeah 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 so he'd be the one for that shit mm-hmm. hell yeah um yeah so uh what what um what projects can you know uh the fans uh look forward to in the future um i've got a couple i, I, I plan a lot of music bro like i just get an idea and i just like put it down in my my computer like write it down and like Either either write a bunch of like notes of like like bars or some shit or like ideas. I just like put them down my computer like shit like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm working as I said, I'm working on a project called Neds. It's gonna sound very similar to like the the last mixtape signed to the scheme, like a uh, sort of like not like depressing but like like the if you if if you listen to like West Side Atlanta drill music, you'll know what I mean. It's like mm-hmm. I know it's what you're like yeah, they're talking about real shit, but it's on like Lil Baby type beats, mm-hmm. and it sounds so. It's it, bro. It, t- to me, it resonates with me so much. It sounds like like, it's it's like sounds like gospel to me, bro. It sounds like uh, it sounds like him. It got a lot of like, soul in it. Church, bro. Yeah, yeah, and you can hear it their pain, bro. Yeah, like, it got a lot of soul. I, in I love pain that. In it. Yeah, and I love that shit. So the next mixtape, Ned's, is gonna sound like that. Non-educated mm. delinquents, and yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot of like like a. Sort of depress. Well, not, I don't want to say depressing, but like I, I guess it is depressing, but like sort of sad sound and shit. Like um, but but just talking real life shit, and then um, me and Juju want to do a a mixtape where we remix Eminem songs. Do you know the? Have you heard that'd the Joy? Be, yeah, that'll have be you great. have you heard the Joy Eminem remix? <laughs> that would be crazy. I never heard that. Yeah, but yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta tap in. Yeah, I gotta tap. Yeah, it. I'm jo- gonna do some. Uh, I'm a, I'm about to do because one of your uh, projects are on my uh, list to do a reaction to. So I'm gonna oh, be what? going. Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to be. Uh, nice. So like, my goal is to uh, go through uh, the Shed Theory members' uh, projects and stuff like that, and then anyone that's connected to like Shed Theory, because that's how people. Because people, because they saw me doing the Shed Theory reactions, and they was like, "Yo, you gotta tap into El Cam guy." Uh, El Cam oh, guy. Oh, works. Yeah, yeah. People that's were funny. telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People was like telling yeah. me my, in the 
Discord. People was telling me, uh, people was DMing that oh, to Shep. me. They was like, yo, you got to tap into L Cam. If you fuck with Shet there, you got you to tap in with L Cam. Got. Yeah. He's like, he got, a, he got a song with Ricky. And I was just like, all right, bet. I'm going to tap in. <laughs> and then, like, uh, and then after that, bro, it was just a rap. So, yeah, like, um, I got, I got, yeah. a, I got, a, uh, I got your music. Uh, I, I got more of your music uh, for reactions and stuff like that. So, I'm That's just excited. I'm, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm excited to, like, deep dive into, like, your shit even more. I and like you know, expand like on you know your your style and stuff like that. Cause this this don't I know from right now from from just speaking with you, I know that this does not stop here. You know what I'm saying? I no, see, hell no, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah. This, I see this, that this just gonna keep going, bro. Yeah, yeah. I see that this doesn't stop here, and I, I feel like you're just gonna keep on expanding and growing, and um, it's just it's, it's just gonna be wild. I, fun, I can bro. I can already see it for you. You know what I'm saying? I just I can already see it, and like it, and it's just all about execution. You know what I'm saying? Like you can have a, yeah. the, it's all it's all about having the plan. But like, what's most important than having a plan is having the execution. Because if you got a plan with no execution, it's nothing. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I know you gonna, I know you're gonna execute that shit, bro. Yeah, like as I mean, like I'm always working, bro. Like I'm always like I'm always doing something like related to music, like every day, like trying to record every day and shit. But yeah, like project wise, yeah, I've got Neds I'm working on. That's gonna sound like some West Side Atlanta shit, and then after that, me and Juju are gonna work on a an Eminem sort of remix tape because we both like love Eminem. Like, mm -hmm. I actually, actually, I moved in with Juju uh, a couple of months back, but like some personal shit happened like in my life, so I had to like move back out, and like I was dealing with some like deep shit for yeah. like a good month, so I had to, I wasn't working on music for like a good month. But then I came back and dropped that new shit and it was fire and it like people fuck with it. Hell but yeah, yeah, we were like the first day we moved in, bro, like um it was like I got my studio set up, it was like, Oh yeah, everything's sweet bro, and then we got out the house, we went to go like get McDonald's or some shit. And then there's like the neighbour, is it like our door with like a hammer saying like what what the fuck are you making so much noise for? And it's like, Whoa, chill out and then it's like her like man came out. And shit, like, we were like, so the first day I moved in with him, we, we were almost like fighting the neighbours already, bro. It, it was like wild. And then we came back and watched like 8 Mile, the movie, because he, <laughs> he never watched it. So we came back and watched that and then we were like, bro, we need to make a, a, a mixtape where it's like Eminem remixes. Because we relate to that shit. And then and then we we're going to like try to get Joey and shit on that as a feature. <laughs> that'd be fire, low be key. Fire. Yeah, that'd be fire, low yeah. key. And then after that, I want to do a... I want to, cause Juju has a tape called Lazy Moolah where it's like Chicago remixes. I want to do something like that, but it's like I want it to be like um, I know my I know my name is like G G U D and it's like Glow Gang shit and like I'm I'm tapped in with like Lil Flash and shit and but I want to do a mixtape called like, you know how it worked like over there with the GDs how they were all blackballed like F B G Duck and shit. Yeah, I want to make a mixtape called like Blackballed <laughs> because like right now it feels like weird like the gds are this if that sounds so well to say but like yeah. that's what it feels like like music wise like we'll be in black world so i want to do like a like a a chicago sort of remix tape where it's all like like lil j remixes lil jojo remixes like shit like that yeah yeah dude and, and, and then they call it black belt yeah. yeah bro i saw uh i saw lil j billionaire black like they did a show in our yeah. city that shit was crazy like and oh, this was at wow. like the this was at like the height of uh the little jojo beef and oh shit yeah yeah like so and they, they were, were they were still getting booked out there they were still getting booked <laughs> bro, <That's> crazy. Yeah. <laughs> bro it was wow. crazy it was bro people were nervous to go to the shows like i and like i still went i didn't give a fuck i was like i'm going i was like i gotta see billionaire black and, and little j and all them yeah it yeah, was yeah, crazy yeah. bro like uh it was just it was honestly it was a wild it was a wild time like and that sounds insane and and like the and our city uh, our city is Peoria and like we're kind of like the little cousin or little brother of Chicago and like all yeah. that stuff like trickled down like the drill stuff so like everybody wanted to be a drill rapper so like the the murder rate just shot up like in our like the murder <laughs> rate shot up in like our city it was insane it was yeah, like it was a, after the JoJo shit, right? After JoJo dropped like BDK, or, yeah, or the original bro, name was like Three Hundred K. Bro, yeah, as yeah. soon as as soon as little JoJo died, bro, it was it was crazy, bro. You mm -hmm. had people in my city dissing people in Chicago, and then like you had the Chicago people saying like, "Yo, we're gonna." This is what I was in, I was in high school, and they was like, uh, like Chicago people from Chicago, like the BDS or whatever. 
uh, is about to uh, drive down to Chicago, uh, drive down to our city, and like shoot it up. And oh shit! shit. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, like, it was crazy. Gone, bro. It was crazy, bro. It was a crazy time, bro. <laughs> like around like that whole like when Chief Keef was like in his prime and shit like that, and with King Louis yeah. and stuff like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I saw a legend, King, bro. Bro, I saw King Louis live. That shit was insane too. Seeing King Louis wow. was crazy, bro. Like, I was yeah, like, he man. he's like a chicago legend bro yeah, that's bro. insane he invented he pretty much invented drill music like he yeah yeah, yeah. He's a, he invented that shit bro it was it was just crazy like just growing up like in like that like not like in chicago but like just not being that far away from it and like then it like trickling yeah. down like the the gang shit and the the, the the shootings and stuff like that how it all trickled down was just the same are, are there gangs yeah. in scotland is there gangs in glasgow and scotland and shit uh Nah, not, there used to be like, uh, like back in the day, like years and years and years ago and shit, there was like Razor Gangs. I don't know if you've like seen the like TV show, like Peaky Blinders. Yeah, Peaky Blinders, like yeah, fuck with Peaky yeah, Blinders. Yeah, it, it was shit like that, like, but now it's just like, it's not really gangs, it's like the people who do the, the real, like, the people who do like organised crime and shit are like, it's like families. Like if that makes sense, like families kind of like ma ma <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> mafia type, yeah. yeah, like mafia type shit. But like yeah. now, nah, other than that, it was it wasn't really gangs. It was like you'd have like it, it was it's, it's the way you know like UK drill how that works. How it's like they beef mm -hmm. over like postcodes, like area codes and shit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that here. It's like it's like one like one hood or like scheme. Like you have a team from like one scheme that like beef another team from a different scheme. Mm -hmm. But that was like. That was like when I was growing up. That I, I like grew up at the end of that shit as that shit was dying out. So like I didn't get caught up in any of that bullshit. But um, mm. yeah, that's that's how it wasn't really gangs. It was just sort of like they called them young teams, like, mm. and they went all in like you know what I mean, yeah, caused yeah. like mayhem and and beef like went and stabbed people up and yeah, shit, <laughs> like like wild shit. Yeah. Would you ever <laughs> sign to a record label in in your uh in your city or or in Scotland? Would you sign to a record label? Nah, not in Scotland. Maybe in America. Yeah. If 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 if, if I got a few bucks, yeah, to sign. Mm. So because uh, it would help out. But nah, I think I think what I'm doing right now is good. Like just being like unsigned and doing my own thing. Like having no one tell me what I can or can't do. I can just do do what I like. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. I, I prefer that. But I don't know if I if like. If NBA young boy wanted to sign me, bro, or like, <laughs> I, I, I ain't turning that down, bro. <laughs> um, is there any merch that people could look forward to in the future? Um, I did a merch run. Um, when did I do it? Like March, February, mm -hmm. last one, and yes, yeah, uh, sold sold out pretty well. Did pretty well, but I'm, I'm having hella issues with merch and shit. Like, I did. I made a mixtape called The Wire. Uh, you know the TV show The Wire, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just like I just made a really like dark ass mixtape, but it was like all like The Wire samples and shit. And I made some merch for that, but like the way I set the merch up, like I ordered like samples in of the merch, and it was like bullshit. So I was like, I didn't want to sell it, and then people were buying it. I was like, I can't sell bullshit. I I'm not gonna sell low quality ass shit. Mm -hmm. And then I just had hella issue. Like it's it's still a headache to this day, bro. And like all the shit I was saying earlier, like. I was going through personal shit because I dropped the wire, bro. And um, I was living with Juju at the time. We dropped the wire. We were like beefing with people in our city, and then like something really bad in my life happened. Like I lost someone close to me, mm -hmm. so I had to move move out from Juju's house, uh, move back here, and um, yeah. So I was dealing with a lot of shit, bro. And I had merch like planned and shit, and it, it just it, it fell through. So I, I still owe a few people with some like t-shirts and shit. That I'm I'm like every, every day I'm like trying to fix so it's not like oh i made some merch and scammed a bunch of people it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, i'm dealing with like hella issues. like i've told people personally like the issues i'm dealing with and shit and like and like i'm keeping them updated on shit but like mm. yeah well once i get that shit fixed hell yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do more merch but i want to do i don't want to, i don't want to do just like some bullshit ass t-shirt like mm -hmm. yeah i want to do, like, do like some pieces. nice shit yeah you want like yeah pieces yeah like and like you know one, one of ones and like one of a kind like type shit yeah, yeah like yeah, i want to make yeah. like hats i want to make like hats and shit like mm -hmm. hoodies i like, don't say because i can I see make like track suits shit like that because like the merch like i can see that pushing really crazy for you like like but like you're looking at everything, bro. I can see like the merch just going crazy for you. Yeah, like I'd show you some of my merch, bro. But like I, I 
I only have like one piece of like the merch run I did in like mm. February, but I can't I can't find the T-shirt anywhere. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I think I think I lost that shit. I would show it, but like, do you know that like uh they had, they'd have like they'd sell like T-shirts in America. It'd be like I went to your hood and no one knew you. Mm. That <laughs> shit, yeah. I I did I did that shit. And I was like, because we don't call it the hood, we call it the scheme. I yeah. sold one that said like I went to your scheme and no one knew you. And like people were fucking with that shit. Like a lot of them sold. I made I made a good bit of profit off that shit. Like people from here fucked with that shit. That's fire. So so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get like as soon as as soon as possible, I'll get back on my merch shit because yeah, merch is the way to go, bro. Like even like all our, the merch right now, I sell like CDs right now. Like cause uh, cause cause what I do is like I drop a project every month. So see when you're saying like you're gonna go through all my projects, it's gonna take you a minute, bro. Cause I've got like mm. thirteen, yeah, and I've yeah. dropped like thirteen. And it's I've only dropped like thirteen projects in like a year. That's like awesome. I wish I could drop I, I wish I could drop more. It's gonna take you a minute to get through my stuff, and you're gonna realize like every single mixtape sounds like different from each other. Like mm-hmm. it's not just one sound. Like I've been experimenting and shit, but like yeah, I I'll do like a project one month, and then I'll do the CDs, and then the CDs will sell out like that. That's so. Hard. Yeah, because I, 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 at first I wasn't, like, someone told me, or like, oh, you should make CDs, dude, people will buy them, and I was like, nah, I would really, would people would people fuck with, like, physicals and CDs, but, like, I did that shit anyway, because, um, we were going to go to, we got booked in London, bro, and I had, like, I was, like, broke, bro, at the time, and I was like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to try this CD shit and see if people buy it, I mean, uh, I dropped, like, te- uh, 10 of 10 CDs, 10 out of 10, only 10 available, I sold them out, bro, in, like, an hour. Definitely. And then I had I had money to go to London and shit and have a nice ass time. So Definitely. yeah, merch is the way to go, bro. So once I get merch fixed, yeah, more merch on the way. Hell yeah, um, man, it was it was really great like talking with you, man. I, re- I really appreciate yeah, you, you. too, bro. Yeah, I really appreciate you coming on the on the channel, man, and chopping it up. Um, is yeah, there, hell yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to plug for the people? Um, shit, I'm gonna plug. Oh, I can do some shouts, bro. Uh, Shout out my mom. My mom really fucks with like what I'm doing. Like she likes I'm not on some bullshit. Shout and, uh, out moms. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing music. Like when I dropped that last mixtape, uh, me and my mom sat and listened to it in the living room on on YouTube, bro. She she was listening to it. I was like showing her all my friends' music. I was like, oh yeah, this is this is so and so. This is so and so. Yeah, she shout out my mom. She's like a real believer and she's put up with my bullshit for a long ass time. So like seeing her. Mm-hmm. It's her seeing me like, like doing something my, positive for my life and like mm-hmm. making a bit of money out of it. She's like hella happy and proud of me. Just shout my mom. Um, mm-hmm. any and, um, uh, Instagram, I uh, Twitter, anything like like, uh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Get me on. Yeah, run up my YouTube, bro, because I'm trying to get that shit monetized. Like, YouTube's the way to like. I fuck with your YouTube, bro. Like, cause YouTube is like serious, bro. Like, you need to be like popping on YouTube, mm-hmm. like for real. Um, but like, I can't even monetize my shit right now because it says I need like a certain amount of watch hours. Yeah, watch time hours and all that stuff. Yeah, you yeah. need because you already you got the you got the subscribers. Um, mm-hmm. you, you need the watch time hours. I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just a thousand a thousand subscribers and I think four thousand watch time hours. Yeah, yeah so. I, I don't know how I don't know how I'm gonna do that, bro. bro just keep on cranking mate. out. Just keep on putting out music. Yeah. Just keep on putting. Uh, you don't have to put like you know music videos up there. You can just put the music on YouTube, like, and you can just put one song at a time on there. So just like yeah. I would just keep on just p- p- putting your music up there and also putting yeah. music videos on there. So like yeah, just just keep on uploading your music. Like you got thirteen tapes, upload all thirteen of the motherfuckers up on on YouTube. Yeah, well they're already on YouTube through like streaming for like Distro Kid and shit. Oh man, so fuck, I don't know about kids. But Distro Kid, they got it on a separate channel. So just upload that shit. Yeah, all on your, yeah, yeah. Upload that shit all on your. I channel. used to do that yeah, shit. Yeah. I used to do that shit, but it wouldn't be like each song. It'd be like the full mixtape in like one video. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just, I used to do that shit. Yeah, do yeah no no bro because I uh, cause like. Um, like even NBA YoungBoy and shit like that, like he he uploads like mm-hmm. like each song, you know what I'm saying? And like you yeah. just gotta you you just gotta keep on flooding the algorithm with just you, you know what I'm saying? 
because like if yeah, you just drop one full thing, bro, they going they just gonna, it's just gonna be like just one full uh, like you know project. But if you drop each song by itself, that shit gonna just keep on. Yeah. Going. People are just gonna keep on tapping in and keep it's gonna keep on going up. Plus the music videos and all that shit, bro. And then plus like yeah. uh, like <laughs> <clears throat> like if you like a like like I said if you like a segment on this like you know uh, on this uh, interview that we did and you want to upload it on your channel, which you got like yeah, you, yeah. you could do that shit, bro. I don't give a fuck. You can take some of this. You could you can yeah, clip, yeah. you can clip some of that shit. And if you want to upload it on your channel go ahead bro you got you got my you yeah can do that shit. i don't give a fuck yeah like, anything the, the, that anything that, that that'll help you you know monetize on youtube go do it bro do that shit dude yeah do the vlogs bro people bro people in america yeah. people like me we want to see what it's like where you yeah you know we, what we, we do, do we have vlogs. a vlog bro yeah, yeah do that we shit, have bro. one we, we we had one when we were in london but it's not been edited yet and we were in london in january and we still haven't like Still not been edited, so I need to see what's happening about bro, that. that shit, and we can bro. drop we can drop that shit. Yeah, do, but that's like me and... me me and Juju, Juju especially is trying to sell up his own shit, Juju T V, where it's mm -hmm. like Juju T V he like he'll in do interviews with people, all that shit. He's trying to like he's like thinking the same as like me, like run up the YouTube because YouTube's like where it's at. Bro, yeah, because like, you can fuck, get the chili up, bro. The, bro, there's money in YouTube, bro. Like it, it's gonna start slow. Like, yeah. And and I'm just like and I'm not even I don't even make any like really like like big money off that shit like but it's a slow build like and I'm like seeing that shit yeah. I'm just like oh shit this shit is actually like you know this shit's like you if you keep on uploading on that motherfucker and you upload if you upload a, just one video one video a day whether it be like a song that you already made whether it be like a music oh, yeah. video whether it be a whether it be like like I said, like you could vlog like the whole like the the Ned's uh, project that you're gonna put out. You can vlog like the whole experience of you making that shit, and then you know yeah. putting that shit out there, and people are gonna be like, oh shit, like that's yeah, a good idea. You know, it, it's just giving people more content, and people are buying into you. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? they're buying into your image. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it, that's a good ass idea. Yeah, bro. I would say, yeah, bro. Just, just. I would just say, like, you know, monetize your lifestyle. You know, what I'm saying, you, you a rapper, bro. Monetize your whole entire lifestyle yeah. at, at this point, dog. You got the, you yeah, got yeah. the Instagram. You got the Instagram. You know, I be, I see your yeah. shit, bro. You got like nine hundred likes on some shit. You getting like three hundred likes on shit. Like this, this motherfuckers yeah. that don't even get that shit. So like, like I said, bro. Yeah. Like you, you already have like the fan base that fuck with you. Just give them stuff more to fuck with. Just feed, yeah. feed them, feed the, feed the fans. Like that's like one thing that I'll say like that. That a lot of artists don't do, like they don't feed their fans. You know what I'm saying? Because they they are yeah. they're already bought into you. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot. Yeah, of, people. I wouldn't have found like out about on you. music and shit, bro. I wouldn't have found out about you if it wasn't for the your fans. You know what I'm saying? Your fans are the ones that came to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's crazy. Dude. Yeah, so that's I'm crazy. Saying, like your your people that are fans of you like came to me and told me about you. So I'm just like. Bro, if you just keep on feeding them, like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna react to it. I'm gonna like be like, oh shit, this is what my man's on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? It's gonna give more shit to for people to like look at, and it's gonna like just boost yeah. your numbers overall at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, gonna make hell you yeah. Know what, bro? Um, yeah, that's why. That's why I even did the interview with you, bro, because I, I seen you know, like I peeped your uh, reaction and your channel and shit. I was like, oh yeah, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. Because yeah, I see you're super tapped into YouTube. I was like. I mean, like, I really fuck with your, the shit you're doing, bro. It's, like, fire. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, yeah. bro. Yeah. Um, like, I love that shit. Yeah, man. Uh, but shit, dog, like, we, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna close this one out, man. Like, I really, yeah. I really enjoyed this, dog. Like, this is lit, man. We, yeah, me hey, too, bro. Yeah, man. It's a nice talk. Yeah, man, for real, for real. We, we definitely gotta do that. We, we gotta do the Glasgow, uh, Glasgow vibe. Uh, yeah, bro, we'll, bro. Get, we'll get, we'll get, crazy, bro. we'll get, Get you out here. Hopefully, we get a B and B, yeah, and then man, uh, gotta, yeah, just, gotta... just just shoot that shit for your channel. Yeah, yeah bro, shit, bro. Shit, bro. bro, do some, we'll do some content share shit, and then you can put that on your channel too, bro. And we just have that shit going up too, bro. Like this shit, this yeah. should be crazy, man. But uh, dog, this is the Scotty Show, L Cam God, bro. Like, well, yeah, I need to shout some people out. Hey, hey go ahead, do that out. shit, do that shit, do that uh, shit. So. Shout, shout my boy Juju, shout out Rapallo, Bootleg Baby, Lazy We Are No Way, shout out Lloyd, yeah. shout out my boy, shout out my boy Jella, shout out Tartan, with his fried ass, he's, <laughs> he's, he's fried, but he's fried, but I love that boy. Shout yeah. out, um, shout out my boy Jella, the r rookie of the year in Glasgow. Yeah. Well, he ain't even from Glasgow, bro, but he's he's a rookie of the year. His music's insane. I'll link you some of his music, his new tape. That shit's fire. Uh, who else do I want to shout out? Jet, yeah, shout out Tartan, Jello, shout out Bloodkin, my boy Sam, I love that guy, he's like, he's like a, a brother to me at this point, shout out Bloodkin, uh, damn, who else do I have to shout out? Yeah, shout out uh, my, bo my boys in the States, Tanner, 
Koga, my boy Sunman, Ryan, shout Temple, those guys. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think that's I, I don't think I've got any more people. Shout out to everybody shout out, uh, that he didn't get to. <laughs> yeah, shout yeah, out like yeah, shout, shout out Shed for you, man. Sh- yeah, shout yeah, out yeah. Ricky for fucking with me because Ricky is always in my shit saying like I'm the king of Scotland and shit. Like <laughs> hearing that shit so far. Shout yeah. out Ricky. Shout out Shed. Shout out Joey. Yeah. Uh, me and Joey, might I'm not even gonna say it, bro. I've, I've, all I'm gonna <laughs> say is that. All I'm gonna say is I've got Joey's number, bro. I can text him anytime. Yeah, that's fire. So that's fire. Um, shout out those guys. Shout out Youngster Jack. Shout out David Shotty, Xavier So Best, Acid Soldier. Anybody who's tapped in. Cause um yeah, I had like I was like on low a limit of listeners for a while, but hella big people were tapping in. Mm. So shout out everybody, everybody uh, from beyond this point right now. Everybody who's tapped in before, shout out them because you're helping my music a lot. Hell yeah, help me, help me, me glow up. Shout Appreciate out to all, all that man. shit's love. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, this is the Scotty Show, El Cam God, man. Thank you for pulling up, man. I appreciate it, Yeah, that nah, lazy way. Hell yeah. Yeah, you too, man. man. This is fun as hell. Hell yeah. This is the Scotty Show. Peace out. Hey. Okay. Uh, hey.